This is my relation. My relation. This is not my position in time. This is not my nation. No nation. I am a citizen of the world. The world. I am a boy. You, you are a girl. girl. What are we talking about here? This has all to deal with your lifestyle. Because if you want to have a great lifestyle, you need to have a consistent state. And your state is going to control everything that you do. If you cannot control your state, you're going to ride the emotional roller coaster. And I know you know what that is, don't you? Yeah, you do. go fast we go alone if we want to go far we go together mm -hmm. so it's in our best interest to big up all the other farms that are producing farm to table foods and making baskets because right now we're not big enough to feed anybody but ourselves but we still believe in the concept so it's in our best interest to write a book that allows them you give me that food too? Yes. To get benefit because then we'll distribute that book, right? To all the different places that, you know, do this sort of thing. Because the more people that actually know about the movement, the more actual, because once the, once we, it's the moment we have issues with the supermarket, you see what happens, right? So it's growing this thing. More people this summer or this winter are planting food than did the winter before, I fucking tell you. Yeah. You know, last winter they ran out of plantels. All that shit ran out. Now we're saving our own seeds. Th things are changing. And they're changing <clears throat> because people are realizing that if you don't get ahead of that, it's the food. It's not fashion. <laughs> it's like, there's, it's not an option. So, I'm giving you all of this so that you understand you're going to lay out this cookbook, but we're also going to lay out this like brochure, the sacred eight that go out for free, that educate about the local issues, but give recipes, just a couple of recipes, just nine recipes. We're going to tell you eight, we're going to give you nine. For you ladies who uh, and gentlemen who want to know what the real deal is, get a load of this. Yep, this is what we got to do today. We got to work, 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 work. And as you can see, some of my height, six foot two, this is a big one. And uh, this is the Empire Chronicles, the Ibiza Empire Chronicles, coming to you live from Ibiza. Cuta Rhino, the dark star, your man with the plan, your badass hoodlum. Uh, well, you know, in Ibiza, this is what we do. We, we grow buds. Because marijuana is the cure for cancer. What don't you know? You need to call somebody. And uh, it's also the way in which we teach people how to make it happen. So in this episode of Ibiza Empire Chronicles, we're going to show you not just the buku, which is this particular strain. If you don't know what the buku is, Burmese Kush. Another TH seed strain. We love TH seeds because they give us the Buku buds. Look at some of these buds. I mean, I don't know if you've noticed, but these buds are some of them spectacular, spectabulous, spantasmagorical. Have you ever seen a bud like that? Look at the size of this budage. So, Cuterino, the true Ibiza, the 
Ibiza, the badass Ibiza Empire Chronicles. We'll see you soon. I gotta get the cut. We wow you. <laughs> we wow you. We wow you. We wow you. <laughs> Are you gonna kiss me? Are you gonna kiss me? Mm -hmm. oh, it's much better now. he do what does he do that's interesting first we start with who he is um, artist father partner I don't know that's like those are just words uh, who is he an artist that's really just uh, here working to Put down this like legacy, you know. I think as an artist, all you can do is 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 leave a legacy. You may have never met Bob Marley, but you listened to his music, didn't you? And you know his story, w one version of it even. I think as an artist, that's the best we can do is leave a legacy. But right now, what's even more powerful is some of the greatest artists of their time were leaving legacies that had political natures. If you think about what artists are really there to do. They're not there to paint pretty pictures. They're there to give an interpretation of what's really going on in the world so you can wake the fuck up and do something about it. So in the process of that, we make things. We make video, we make songs, uh, we produce, we write. Um, and then that's the artist end. And then on the business end, we sort of help people to take their art and learn how to earn from it. Maybe it may not be the art specifically as in the art that they came in with, but as an artist in the modern day, if you're not an artistpreneur, you're like broke. You're like the starving artist, like the typical starving artist. And in reality, who wants to be that? Who wants to be a starving anything, you know? So what we do, what I do as an artist myself is I find a way to become profitable doing things and then help to teach that to other people so that they can maybe find a way as well. That's my main thing. And in the process, leave a legacy. Yeah, so.
never stop to raise these days When all my sorrow went away There's no need for me to stay A lot of people talk about the 10,000 hours of Malcolm Gladwell and in his book The Tipping Point. But one thing that artist entrepreneurs need to know is the 1,000 fan concept. Now the 1,000 fan concept is the concept that if you had 1,000 fans that were your true fans and they spent eight dollars or euros or pounds per month on you how much money would that be and would that be enough for you to live like the lifestyle of your dreams so why I'm stressing this to you is because sometimes you think that you need thousands and thousands of fans to do what it is that you're doing you actually could have a really great lifestyle if you just had 1,000 really great fans and they all gave you about eight bucks a month. If you could move it to 10 bucks a month and 2,000 fans, think about it. How many fans do you have now? Carolina, the dark star, coming to you live <clears throat> from the ghetto, from the hood, from the rock. And we're about to go do a bit of recording with our man, the master blaster, Henry, at Sonic Vista Studios. So we're gonna go do that because we've gotta drop some vocals down for a particular track, uh, living today. So for those of you who feel like living today, you're gonna live your life the way you wanna live it. This video is for you. Yeah, Running a little late because we have Germans with us. Oof, sorry that I'm late, but I had a German with me and they're just not as fucking punctual as a New Yorker. <laughs> Put them both in mono, duplicate the main bass, the second bass, distort it, with uh, some kind of harmonic, okay. some plug in the sign down, then but bring it in softly and then just, you know, find where it's the best little spot okay. to blend with it, you know? When Don't it make it so loud, just have it as an extra little effect thing okay. to give it more grit. You copy the, there's six, seven here. You copy these seven over here, so you have 12, and then you copy these over here, you understand? So you, so that means you have 12 vocals to work with on the choruses. <laughs> but you layer them and pan and them. Pan them. So it yeah, still yeah. sounds like there's, it doesn't sound like 12 different people. It just sounds like this one thick, massive chorus. And you come right back to the one on the verse. We got time for one more dance. Let's light it up before we start the show now. I'm living to the heat. I'm gonna live my life. I want some that you have it, you know? Yeah. <laughs> but the thing is with cues, like, you just gotta let them run it, man. Mm. You don't do, like, vo you know, crazy vocal production techniques because mm -hmm. you want that live show. Because if, if your record is sounding different than the live show, it's like, no, no, it's like reverse. Just cut it like a live show. Yeah. Like how old records were done. Yeah, they you just know? one take like... One, one take, because it wasn't like, that's all we got, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and if you go back in more musical history, 
It was live to lacquer. Mm. If the band fucked up, that was it. That was f- you're fucked, man. And you you're you're fired. You're fired. <laughs> and you had to pay. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, there's no, there's, you can't fuck up because everyone had to be perfect. But the whole thing was execution of the performance. You know what I'm saying? So Q's a ex, uh, he just rocks it like that. You know what I'm saying? So you want the the live the, the studio recordings to be as much as the live show. With the, with the other singers, we have to to make maybe 20 times. You know? Don't say that. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't put that in. No, because the thing rule number one: don't never compare to no, other no, no, no. other. Don't, don't use this either. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> The moment is what it is When it's good to you or it isn't But it still is You just miss it If you let it go past It'll go so fast You may not even feel it But the memory might steal it back from you It's true The moment passes like your laugh And your Life, it lapses if you don't confront the gas That's in back of the power that you feel To make your dreams real It's all in a moment Like your hair sometimes You gotta comb it Don't mean it'll make it straight Oh no Sometimes you just have to wait for the moment Don't make it right Sometimes you just have to be the light of the moment The moment